To know how the Texans will be built, you must first know David Culley. And to know him, we take you to the city that built him. Located 80 miles from Nashville, Tennessee, with a population of 5,029, is the city of Sparta. Bluegrass, beautiful waterfalls, and White County High School are a few ways of describing it. But when telling any story, it's best to hear from those who know it best. Sparta is basic rural America. It's, it's the place that you want to raise your family and, and grow, a, grow a home. And it's a place that, that considers God, family, country, and then sports comes pretty close behind that. Sparta is a small community. Uh, everybody knows everybody. Uh, very supportive of everyone. It was a very close-knit town, not just with my family, but with everybody in the town, from people at the high school, people in businesses. Everybody knew everybody, and it was like we were all family to a certain degree. On Roberts and North Carter Street, near Riverside Park, David Culley's childhood began. This is the street basically where he grew up at, and I always we always kidded each other, say, okay, man, we from North Carter. He said, yeah, North Carter strong. This is our area right here. We maintain North Carter. So he was proud to be from this street. Even though there wasn't much here, but still it was a lot to us, you know, cause we had all our fun here. We played baseball here in the streets and just everything we done growing up, we managed to find a way to do it here on North Carter. The house uh, to the left of you there, that's the house that David basically grew up in right there. I remember many mornings he's coming out of that house and going in in the afternoons with his books, school books and stuff in his hand. At an early age, David got involved in sports where friendships were made and character began to be developed. We'd go out here and draw up football plays. You know, we did, back then we'd draw them up on the ground. You know, you go here and you go there, you cut across that way right there. And when he drop a play, you bet it's gonna work. He was the type of guy that one day he's gonna be a productive, person for the community. He's just a good kid. And then at the ball field, people leave, kids leave their gloves on the benches and he'd always say, hey guys, whose gloves? Don't forget your gloves. He was always taking care of his other guys. Well, I would say that David's character in many ways was molded by his parents because, you know, I've never been around his parents that they weren't positive and upbeat and encouraging. I've never felt like David was doing anything other than what he felt like was best for the team. I've seen him and some of the other older players at different levels reach out to the younger players to encourage them, to challenge them. And he was a guy that I think people gravitated to because they knew he was positive, they knew he was upbeat. The Cully family is a staple to the Sparta community. David's father, Ulysses, is so well respected that they named the town's high school baseball field after him. Cully family is a, is a great group of people. They care about their community. David's dad, Ulysses Cully, uh, been a big part of sports in White County ever since I've known him. He was uh, an umpire in baseball and probably was as much of a hitting coach at the same time as he was an umpire. Always tried to help the kids. Probably the strongest sports fan that the Sparta Warriors have ever had. Well, I tell you what, he, first of all, he's 94 years old, still kicking. And he's been the inspiration for me, my brothers and my sisters, from the standpoint of how you want to be and the kind of person you want to be. The people in Sparta now kind of think of him as a lot of people's father because he's traveled many, many places for years to all sporting events in Sparta, whether it was my brothers and sisters playing or someone else's family plan. He's just been what I've always wanted to be and I really feel like right now because of that inspiration that he has and the way he has lived his life has rubbed off on all of us. David's father would have another Sparta athlete to cheer for when David would grow up and attend White County High School. White County High School is the only high school in our county. We have one feeder middle school and six feeder elementary schools and it serves all of our county as the local high school. Sports is huge. Sparta as a town, athletics is a driving force. Things will shut down and everybody will come to a ball game. A lot of times sports or football may be the front porch of your community or school. So when the sports or football in particular is doing well, it seems like everybody else is uh, doing well and it's always a big community gathering, especially when the teams are winning on Friday night. It means a lot to small town communities. Football was more than just a game. 
It was kind of a way of life for us. And it wasn't just the football, but it was basketball, it was baseball, it was all the other sports. It is a, a very sports-oriented town with a lot of history. D. Harris is known in the town of Sparta as a legend, a title well-deserved after being the head coach of the high school football team for 19 years. Following a successful coaching career, in 2002, the school named the field in his honor. One year later, he was inducted into the White County Sports Hall of Fame. To this day, he keeps in touch with David. I got coached the right way, I like to tell everybody, because he was a wonderful man, not only that, a tremendous coach, but a better human being. And uh, those things kind of rubbed off on not only me, but everybody that played for him. And I try to make sure that in my profession now, with where I'm at, that I try to do the same thing to the people that I coach. D. Harris was a great coach. To this day, what he taught me is, was discipline and hard work because if you were not disciplined, D would let you know, but he would do it in a, such a way that it wasn't to chastise you, but he brought the best out of you through the way he communicated to you. Our practice field is actually next to his house. So the first year I'm here, I had some guys that hadn't coached here before and they're like, what's, what's this old guy that keeps wandering out on the field and you never make him leave? I said, well, you know, his name's on the building on the field. I think he can come watch practice a little bit. So, so we let him go and then they finally, they're like, oh yeah, that's great. He, he's been very positive influence to me. He wants success for this program and for Sparta football. Just a great mentor to have around. With D. Harris and a good supporting cast, David began to build a legacy of his own at White County High. Staying busy with sports and school, David earned a good reputation with the people of Sparta. There's nothing that I saw any type of uh, sporting event that he couldn't excel in. I mean, he was the quarterback on a football team, he was a point guard on a basketball team, uh, he pitched in baseball. That left hand, I mean, he's just a real competitor, but he's also, the people that he played against respected him because he played the game the way it was supposed to be played, and so people looked up to him, even on the opposing sides. Dave, he had the support of all the team. Everybody looked for Dave from the leadership quality. When we went into the huddle, he was pretty clear as far as what we were supposed to be doing, and I remember times as the word, like, the play would be called for me. And before the play calls, Cully would always coach me and tell me, well, you, you be right here, kind of give me directions as where I was supposed to be. He was coaching during the game. I remember watching, watching every play, expecting something big every time. And you never, you never knew when it was going to be a 40-yard pass or a, or a 50-yard run. You, know, so you, you always watched when, when he was on the field. One thing I remember when he was a senior, he was, became the first player ever to be named the Associated Press as State Player of the Week for both offense and defense. And he did it in consecutive weeks. And I don't think anybody's ever done that since then. Soon after high school, a life of coaching forced David to live outside of Sparta. But as the years passed, he continued to make headlines. When news broke about David becoming an NFL head coach, it didn't take long for his hometown to catch on. So we just print twice a week. So it's kind of chaotic trying to keep up with the news and make sure it's fresh and new and we don't get beat out by the bigger places. And as soon as it broke, we shared to our Facebook page. I want to make sure his hometown represents. And then I immediately sent him a message that said, hey, call me first thing in the morning so we can hit this big for everybody. He deserves it. The town deserves it. We sold out the papers, printed more, that kind of thing. His family stepped in and bought ads to be printed, congratulating him. It's the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. My sister had called me and told me I, I hadn't heard the news and I was just thrilled. I pulled over immediately and, and uh, I didn't want to call David because I knew David had thousands of phone calls, but I sent him a text message and, and I was just thrilled that he got his opportunity to be a head coach. Back when I was in Sparta, Tennessee, everything I am today has come from that town, those people, and you know, you always hear it takes a, takes a village, you know, to, to, to raise someone. I'm a perfect example of that, and that happened for me back in Sparta, Tennessee. It was Sparta, Tennessee, where David would form bonds that would last a lifetime and develop his character. Today, he is in the White County Sports Hall of Fame, next to the legendary D. Harris. But his impact in the town of Sparta is far from finished. As he always says, it takes a village to raise a child. That's what this is. He doesn't carry it by himself. 
He's had help along the way and he is grateful and humbled for every person that's touched his life. David's the same he is today as he was when I knew him at 15, 16, 17 years old. He's still a very, very high character guy. He's still a guy who loves this community he grew up in and comes back here from time to time. David has gone on and uh, represented Sparta real well. He and my dad have always had a great relationship. They've remained close through the years, so it's been neat to see as David's progressed, he's always come back and visited and talked with him and talked about the influence that he had on him as a coach and as a person. He came back and spoke to the team very graciously, we asked him to come back the first year I was here and we've been very involved in the program ever since then, since I've been here. So I'm very appreciative to him, to the help he's given us. We have several that have been placed in the Hall of Fame for their careers here at White County. And not only his career as a high school athlete here, a college athlete, but also the different programs that he's had involvement with and everything. And it's, uh, it's huge for someone from Sparta you know, to chase their dream, be an NFL coach, a positions coach, and now to be the head coach of an NFL franchise. I think when Dave says that it takes a village, he's had the coach and he's had the whole community. Of course, they respect him for his leadership, but Dave's had the whole community to stand behind him. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.